Tanya and Matt from Junk Monkey Paint Company, and you know what time it is. It is day five of the Paint a Piece of Furniture with Milk Paint with our brand new line of Junk Monkey Milkshake Milk Paint, and we're on day five. Say hello to my lovely guest of the evening. This was my $10 fine at my local Goodwill. When you guys ask me, Sonia, where do you get all your pieces of furniture? Girl, you know how you just like eventually get those watery holes of where you go to and you sometimes you begin to learn that one Goodwill is even better than another one down the street. So I kind of have little communities that I travel around that I, I've begun to notice which one's got the good stuff. So I check often and regularly. And once you start painting furniture, anybody out there right now can vouch for this, you eventually become that person in your whole family or friends list that, yeah, you know, just give it to Sonia. She'll take it. Yes, I will, my friend. So... To the person who donated this, probably what, 1980s? Yeah. 1980s, Sam. It's actually Presswood. Presswood? Yeah. They're, yeah, they're over it, right? But you know what? We're going to make it beautiful, and it will go into somebody else's home. I guarantee it, okay? So I am super excited. So as you guys pop on, say hello. Tell us who's with us tonight. Matt's going to give some shout-outs. Just a quick uh, mention here of Crud Cutter. That's what I love to clean my furniture with. So I will not spare you uh, the boringness of watching me clean furniture, but this is what I use. I know I get tons of messages when I'm off of the air on here and people will say, what is, what is that thing? So take a screenshot, quick, quick, quick. You do a spray over, grab some paper towel, and just watch the dirt come off and just, just feel good that you're giving it a really nice clean, okay? All right, I'm going to go ahead and get started. The color we're going to use tonight is a color called mustard pickles all right let me go ahead and get it stirred up and get it mixing because remember what i told you told you guys when you work with milk paint it comes if you're working with true milk paint this is our line called the milkshake completely all natural it does come in a powder form okay and that's the way that true milk paint should be back in you know colonial times and even earlier this would be the true form that it would come in so i'm going to go ahead oh here let me get my bigger monkey spoon my bigger monkey spoon by the way, I got these at the Dollar General if anybody needs a matching set, okay? All right, there you go. Matt won't let me have a monkey, so that was the closest thing I could get. All right, so mustard pickles. I'll go show you the color, what it's going to come out like on the wall here. Matt, I'll have Matt do that. So remember, it comes in the powder form. You mix up as what you need. Last night, we did a hutch. Who was here for the hutch? We used four tablespoons, because I always mess up how to say that, tablespoons. My husband's got me paranoid of um, our colors. And did you, did you guys check that out last night? Like how beautiful did that come out, right? That was four tablespoons. So I'm not sure how much I'm gonna need for this one, but you know what, let's just go ahead. I don't know, and do like maybe three or something. We'll see, right? That's the fun thing about milk paint is that you just get to play. He did six last night. Was it six? Mm -hmm. I don't know, four or six? Six. I came back and I added water, so I'm not positive. Two percent, six. Okay, as long as they watch me and they know. Yeah. So then maybe we'll do four tonight. How about that? We'll do four. That kind of gives me an Crud idea. Cutter is not a degloser. It's it's a degreaser. It's not a degloser. All right, there we go. So we have got this going down. Now we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna add some water. All right. So oh my gosh, what did I just do? With my monkey spoon. Do you see where That's it went? It. Did just I just drop it. it in there? I did. Mr. Chef, don't look at me. I just dropped the spoon down into the dried goods. All right, there we go. All right, there we go. So now what we're going to do is the very same thing. So see, I was talking again. I put what, four in here? I think I did four, mm -hmm. right? Oh, my God. All right, I got to stop talking while I'm doing this. One. Yes. Well, if anything, it should show you that you can't mess it up, okay? You just get the paint to the desired consistency that you want. Pretty much, I'm going to encourage you to do like a one ratio to like whatever you, if you put one tablespoon in of the actual milk paint, do the one tablespoon of the water as well, okay? And your water, you never want it to be like cold, like in terms of freezing cold. And I would never put hot water in it as well. Just do room temperature. Just take it straight from the tap before it really starts to get hot, right? You know what I mean? So put it in here. What happens is the color pigments will go ahead and disperse and set up. So as it sits, it actually gets a little bit thicker. Um, so again, you can adjust, right? So if I want to add a little bit more water I can which is cool because I can control it and do a wash if I want or I can make myself some paint to the consistency that I personally like to paint with right so I'm I tend to paint my make my paints a little chunky and for those of you who know our original junk monkey chalky style recipe you know that's a little more chunkier right um, so you can do whatever you want with the milk paint make it thin make, do whatever makes you happy so give us some shout outs tell us who's on here tonight do tell me tell me go way 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 Go way back in the way back, back. machine. Right. Linda, Linda, Linda's on here. Karen hey, Pongas is watching. Aaron Jenkins says hello. Gabrielle Dominguez checking in from San Antonio, Texas. Ooh. Patricia Pacu is checking in from 
Louisiana. Hello, Louisiana. Uh, Patrice Swiger says hello. Lori Mitchell. Bobby Gillers. Hi. Tracy Good Ramirez. Uh, Brandy's checking in from Oklahoma. Lisa's checking in from Montreal. Uh, Tanner Ray Miller says hi. Patty Price says hi. Uh, Lisa's hey, checking in from Abington, Virginia. Charlene Greider says uh, howdy. Shelly uh, Allen Goodwin says hello. Uh, Mary Roma says hello. Uh, Terry is from Teton, Washington. Dan Johnson Fisher. Yeah, all over. I love it. I love Lynn's it. Shane from California. Barbara's Shane from Winter Garden, Florida. Tina says hey. And oh, hello, Matt. Joseph <laughs> Trooper's coming in from Chicago. Deborah Jennifer. is checking in from Calico Rock, Arkansas. Josh King, hi, how are you doing? Hey, Josh. So, uh, uh, Kathy Stenner Strobeck says, hey, from Central PA. Uh, oh. Kathy Stenner, loving the videos. Rusty says, hi, from Central Florida. Hello, Rusty. Uh, Connie says, Florida. from Hope, Arkansas. Sandy's checking in from Vegas. Pam's checking in from Mount Pleasant over the hill. Gilda says, hey, y'all. Kathy uh, shared it. Doug June shares, says, is Craig Cutter a deglosser? Already asked that. Uh, yes. Ravonda Smith. It gets all kinds of greasy. Ah, Here we go. All right, real quick. I'm going to let this sit up, right? You generally want to let it like sit for about 10 minutes or so. It begins to thicken. Again, add water. If you feel it's a little bit too thick, that's entirely up to you, all right? Do you want to show them the color mustard pickles before I go ahead and I I'm put it on this piece? I'm getting vanished to the wall of color. Go show them. Go show them. It's always fun to have a visual, right? right you need to know what the color is going to be out, like, right? Out. I'm being attacked yeah. by the octopus. You always get attacked right. by the octopus. Uh, where is the mustard pickles? Try to maybe look at the top. Oh, yeah. There it is. Mustard pickles. Right up top, that's mustard pickles. So, most people don't know what mustard pickles are on here. So, you're going to have to explain. Mm -hmm. Maybe a little bit later. So, yeah, um, what do you think of mustard pickles? Mustard pickles? You know what? I, I never really got into mustard pickles, which is surprising being how much I love mustard. Really? Yeah. Yeah. I think I ate it like twice. Alright, let's <laughs> do it. Let's do it. Alright. So explain to them what mustard pickles are. Okay, so mustard pickles basically is a traditional Newfoundland delicacy, okay? It is the most thing. You guys know, you probably grew up, at least some of you, right, with like bottled goods, you know, jams and jellies and things that are just like local to your area. And you just begin, you begin to uh, be familiar with a, like a certain recipe. Mustard pickles are that for me back in Newfoundland. I'm serious. Like at one point they even had a shortage on mustard pickles and I swear to God the entire province of Newfoundland Oh man, it really, it really like, you know, caused some problems, all right? But what but is in the mustard pickles? It's like onions that go into it and mustard, and it's like something that you traditionally would have even on Sundays and things like that, you know what I mean, when you're having your, I don't know, when you're having your, what we called your cold plate or all of your salads and things like that. It's so funny, you know what, every Sunday growing up in, growing up back home in Newfoundland, mom would make cooked dinner, what we called cooked dinner with all the vegetables for like what we call um, lunch back home. And then, okay, now I've been in the U.S. for how long? It's Too breakfast, long. dinner, supper back home. And it's breakfast, lunch, dinner down here. So I've kind of had to retrain my brain. Let me tell you, me and Matt were very, very off on, um, you know, in terms of what we thought, what meal we were planning for when we first got married. But anyway, back home, at about the noon time, you would have, like, you know, your cooked dinner on Sunday. And then you'd have your salads in the evening. But anybody else just miss mom's cooked dinner or mom's cooked food? You know what I mean? Anybody else like, dang, when you grew up, you didn't realize how good you had it. Now, all of a sudden, you had to adult and you're like, man, if I only had mom's good home-cooked meal, right? So this is the mustard pickles we're using tonight. I think I'm going to go for, like, I'm thinking about a primitive look, okay? When I think of mustard pickles, you tell me, but um, I call it mustard pickles. But when you, <laughs> when you see this color, what do you guys think of in terms of a style of decorating? I mean, would you agree that, that a mustard color is probably more of somebody who loves the blacks and the burgundies and the, um, you know, the navy blues and the cranberries and all that good stuff? You tell me what you think. So we're going to go all over it with a coat of paint. I'm not going to prime. I'm just using the milk paint. going to go all over it and get my first coat down. And then we'll go over it with a second coat real fast as Dana well. Dana Weber says it reminds her of Safari. <laughs> safari? Yeah, yeah, Safari. Absolutely. <laughs> What, what size type brush is that? This is a two inch special brush 
that. I'm super excited. If you guys were on here last night, you saw me paint that hutch in no time flat. It just gives amazing coverage. It's called the Klingon. And um, yeah, I know every time I say Klingon, Matt knows that I'm actually a, uh, oh, let's get a piece of the tape off here. Matt knows I'm actually a Trekkie. I love me some Star Trek, okay? Which probably we should have a debate on here. Which one are you, Star Wars, Star Trek, or neither, okay? I'm a Trekkie, so I love my Star Trek, love my Captain Kirk. Um, but anyway, yeah, so this is a Klingon brush, and they're actually made in the Netherlands. And so it's really cool because I got to talk. Oh, Marlin, isn't yeah. that beautiful? Yeah. <laughs> yes, and so I've been talking with the owner this week, and I'm uh, super excited to be some of the, one of the pro people that he selected to be um, a special dealer for his brushes. And so um, they are on their way from the Netherlands, from the Dutchlands. And so give me about maybe a week and we should have them and we'll put them up on our site. But they're really cool. It's actually like a wet brush. And so believe it or not, since I did this piece last night, I actually left this brush in water. You're supposed to keep it wet, keep it suspended in water. And um, it's just a top of the line brush for furniture painters, okay? It's one of those brushes that you get and you keep for a very long time and it becomes like your baby. All oh, right. You're getting a lot of neither's on here. Neither's what? Neither. Trek, nor Wars. Nor Star Wars. Yeah. I never got the Star Wars. But I did. I grew up on, grew up watching Star Trek. Denise Trek says her son writes Star Trek books. Oh, yeah? Yeah. You know, it's like whatever you're used to when you grow up, right? Like, what's a show for you that when you watch it, it just takes you back to being younger and, you know, maybe being home with the family and watching something on TV, right, that just... When you see it now, it takes you back. Matt, you have those shows, right? Yeah, I have a lot of those shows. What will be some of your shows? Oh, jeez. I know. You probably have um, tons. Benny Hill. <laughs> see, I never watched that one. Benny Hill. I don't even uh, know what that is. A comedian, British comedian. Well, remember, I grew up in Canada. You well, grew up he was here, on, so. Yeah, British comedian. Yes. And he, he, he was on CBC and BBC and all mm -hmm. that. And never, the PBS here. Don't remember him. Um, let's see. oh man, welcome back, Car uh, Carter. Oh, I love welcome back, Carter. That was uh, good all in the family. Yep. Um, Alice, one yep. day at a time. Alice. I forgot about Alice. I wonder if that's on like Twilight any Zone. Definitely Twilight Zone. Anybody Twilight know Zone. if Alice is on like Netflix or Hulu or Amazon? Tell me. I'm gonna have to watch that. So Twilight Zone was a big one for me. Uh, going along the Twilight Zone, Midnight Gallery. So. Midnight uh, or Night Gallery, mm -hmm. which was Rob Serling later, 70s Rob Serling before he passed away. So, anyways. Yeah, what show were we watching that was kind of similar to The Twilight Zone? I forget what it was recently. Uh, was it Stranger Things? No, it was uh, Black Mirror. Oh, that yeah. Was, that that yeah, was more yeah. like The Outer Limits. Yeah, I do like those shows. Yeah. The Obscure. Three Stooges, yeah, absolutely. Three Stooges were a big one Sunday mornings. It oh, was yeah. always on there. <laughs> I like the Three Stooges. Brady Bunch, of course, yeah. What else? Okay, I I've never seen an episode of The Brady Bunch. Oh, well, you're going to get roasted now. I've never. It's true. I've never seen The Brady Bunch. Bunch. See, I don't even know how to pronounce it. Brady Bunch. Okay, what's the other one? The Partridge Family. I've never seen an episode of The Partridge Family. Did you leave? Are these things I should be watching? I can't. You know what? It was Partridge Family was always on when I was a kid, but I don't. I watched it, but I don't remember anything about it. Really? Yeah, so it's not that great? Well, it was just a... <laughs> It's not that great. So, guys, this is just my coat of the milk paint. The cool thing is that milk paint is the, say it with me, the unpredictable paint. So we never know what it's going to do. So if I wanted this paint to stick on, the all-natural paint to stick on, like pretty close to as perfect as you can get and make it, Really, really, um, plan of the year. Just yeah, add here. Really oh, I'm, I'm addicted to that. Well, you like the new ones, you never watched the old ones. No, I love the new ones. Yeah, you're right. I, love I was the like movies. Psycho, you like the new Psycho show, but you never watched the original Psycho. And no, you watch this it. is right, right? So, yeah. But anyway, if you Some... want your paint to make sure it sticks on, make sure you use the extra bond. I need to make sure you guys know that. For me, I am going all crazy with it. Like, these 20 days are an experiment to paint with milk paint on all different surfaces to see what it does, okay? So we're going to see what it does tonight with no extra bond added. And what happens is milk paint is the only paint that chips, okay? It's unpredictable. It can crackle. It can chip. It can separate. Do all kinds of funky stuff. And I'm down with funky, okay? Chippiness, rustic, whatever. So because I'm going with maybe more of a primitive look tonight for this piece, you guys know primitive is rustic, right? It's worn. It's seen ages of use. And so... Milk paint is going to be awesome for this project. Yeah, it's funny people are saying I dream of Jeannie. Well, we're going to be hanging out with uh, Barbara Eden and uh, 
Maria Battaglia, who's uh, the artist and uh, her agent, down Stillcon. Here. Oh, yeah, it's coming up yeah. in what, April? Yeah, they're going to be around. I think Ew. they're set up beside us. So, anyway. Two beans. Uh, Ed Sullivan, Walt Disney. Oof. But it is Beverly always Hillbillies. weird, though, when you meet somebody that you've watched on TV. Growing up. And yeah. then you meet them in person. And maybe you meet them decades later. And somehow in your mind, you're expecting them to be the same way that you saw them on TV. Right. You're going to be all glammed up, you know. And then you see them decades later. And yeah. you're like... Whoa! We didn't we didn't mix a bond with this paint. Nope. Uh, somebody asked about shipping to Canada. We're working yeah, on it. Up. We got to take. Week. Yeah, we got to get some stuff straightened out between you know for for you know uh, inner intercontinental transfer. Intergalaxy travel. Yeah, exactly. So okay. it's, it it takes a little bit. <laughs> Please be. Okay, come over here. Uh, yeah, we'll advertise it. Uh, when we uh, make sure you follow our page because we'll put it up when we go ahead. I'm going to add a little bit of water to this again because remember, guys, what I said is that it will actually thicken. Um, so I can keep adding water to make sure I kind of get at the consistency that I want to paint with, make my paint go further. But one of these packages of paint does the same thing as the pints of the chalky style paint that you guys are used to. So we always say rule of thumb is one um, can of paint, or in this case, one package of paint. To be able to to uh, paint a piece of furniture so you guys saw me last night paint that hutch we said what six tablespoons oh i'm already seeing chippiness and i know it's going to be good all right do you want to come over here yeah. well linda if i didn't do it she'd just keep going and going and going do what nothing do what you'll see later i'll see you later yeah okay all right are you, are you telling me that i talk a lot i would Is never that what you're i would to say? never ever say that <laughs> ever the truth comes out. Do you wholesale junk monkey? Right now we sell it at wholesale prices. We're getting a dealer uh, program in place. Yep. Uh, probably stay within tuned. the next month. Yes. Yeah, junk stay monkey tuned. is about yeah. to take the nation. Yep. Well, you, it's already taken the nation, right? Yeah, you guys absolutely. Are, all you guys find and wonderful people know about it. Okay, and it's because so easy to use. Right Yay. <laughs> but yeah, stay in touch or send us an email at junkmonkeypaint at gmail.com if you're definitely interested yep. in being a retailer for our paint. Um, or even being set up as an affiliate for our paint. Yep. Hey, Amaryllis. You're a business. Yes. Yay, look at this, guys. How quick, right? Think about, this is this is what I love about <laughs> our paint. Do you want to come over on this side so yeah, I finish up? Yeah, absolutely. Oh, look at that. Look what? at that. There was obviously <gasps> something on top. Yeah. Yes, 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 yes. That's what I love. There's the chippiness, guys. There's the chippiness. All right. Oh, look at the side there. Nice. This is what I want. I want old and wretched, right? So remember, if you want to control it, because you can't control milk paint, unless you add in some extra bond, okay? It helps it settle it down and stick on really, really well, okay? But it's all natural. It's going to do what it wants to do, okay? It's like all natural hair right before you put all the products on it. It just does whatever it wants. Kind of like you. Yeah, right? Rebel. It's a rebel. I tell you, it's a rebel. Right. I'm a rebel, daddy. daddy. A rebel. I know. Now we're talking Pee Wee Herman. I don't know. We're talking Star Trek and Pee Wee Herman tonight. Right. Do you fall into that category? Yes. All right, let's see here. Let's put some more on the corner. Yeah, this is starting to blow off, too. Look. Dang. Look yeah. Yeah, look at all that. So there was obviously something on this table beforehand. It's just a lot of shellac. Yeah, just Remember, the more shinier the piece. Pledge. The um, more shinier the piece, See, the this, chances of more chippiness well, to occur, okay? We're going to have to hit this. Okay, well, maybe tonight's the extra bond night. Yeah, yeah, I think we're it's just going to go at it and see there's what There's chippiness, and then there's. To show people. Chippiness. <laughs> hey, don't dis the chippiness. All right, there we go. Came in late. Why is Dang. it chip chipping? Because it is milk paint. <laughs> oh my God, it's a fail. It's a fail. No, it's, it's chipping. Not. No. This is the chippy paint. So if you love old and wretched and chippy, then this is going to be Ray for you. Says, Ray says old and wretched is in style. She started laughing. I love old and wretched. You got to understand, wretched is, is not necessarily a bad term where she comes from. No, wretched means the down, stress, down right? here, Down here, wretched is not a good term. Oh, really? Yeah. Well then. All right, you'll have to fill them in. All right, let me dry this real fast. It's probably going to even have more terms. Yeah, wretched in my mind means really dilapidated. Means oh, somebody, something's look, bad. It's not look, good. Look, look at this. Yeah. So this is a good example. Whew, of when I say 
Milk paint is the chippy paint, right? It depends on the surface that you have it on, how yeah. much chippiness you're going to get, okay? Mm -hmm. So we can see that this table was shiny enough that the paint was just like, we're just gonna chip the heck, all right? So let's go ahead and dry it. We'll do a sand. And then what we can do, because obviously, yes, while I was going for wretched, I wasn't going for this Make much wretched. Make this paper chippiness and then there's falling off. The, exactly, right? Mm -hmm. So what we're going to do is we're going to break out the extra bond tonight. And so this is a good example of how I can fix something like this here if I didn't want it to be this chippy, right? So just let me dry this section. And we will do that. Do you have your brush? You do. Okay. Your mason's brush. My mason's brush? Yeah. yeah. And I got sandpaper too. Okay. So we're good. All right. Dang. But yeah, if you ever wanted to see, if you ever wanted to see milk paint in action, this is what's going down right now. This is milk paint in action. So when I say it's the only paint that will chip, there you go. And I haven't even touched this. It just wants to fall off on its own. All right. You got to tell them about your uh, super, super secret uh, mystery. Oh, yeah, yeah. Day five of our Junk Monkey Mystery Yeah. Day. That's Seriously. right. What would you share this video and then post that you share below. Yes. And you may be the recipient of tonight's super mega happy fun time mystery gift from this, Junk Monkey Paint Company. Go. This is the perfect time to share. This is when everybody would be like, what the heck Kate is Moore, this? Linda says this is what happens when you paint my antique. <laughs> <laughs> Too funny, Linda. You're such a troublemaker. Yeah. All right, let's brush it in. Well, I gotta dry this first. It's enough so, of the drying. Well, it's almost done. It's a true story. I was at um, Walmart today. You know, mm -hmm. what's a day when I don't go to Walmart? Anybody yes. else like that? Yes. I swear they, they know me. The greeters know me. Um, and they have their spring collection of like clothing and everything out of it. Stuff. No, this is good. No, this means not. that means I gotta buy a new lawnmower. This right means away. that winter is on its way out. Okay, this means that pretty soon we're going to see spring come. If you had sanded that, it a little, would it have chipped less? Yeah, yeah absolutely. absolutely yep. yeah. You sure, yeah, you sure could have. Absolutely. But it's fun, right? So if you want chippiness, a chalky style paint can't give you this. A chalky style paint, at least our chalky style paint, has muscles. It sticks on, right? Mm -hmm. That's the stuff you don't have to primer, sand, or strip. And then if you do want it distressed, then you go ahead and you put a little elbow grease into it to knock off all the distressing, right, that you want to see happen. But this is really cool because if you love that old, natural, chippy style, this is going to give it to you for sure. Trent, trust the process. Oh, who we got now? No, I'm just saying. Trust the process. Trust the process. That's me because you know me. I'm always like, what are you doing then? It oh, always dang. turns out good. Dang, look how chippy that is. Holy moly. All right, let me get my brush. Let me get my brush. Matt can have his garden again. No, ain't happening look this year at either. That. Holy moly. Yep. Holy moly. Yep. Talk about chippiness. Yep. Talk about chippiness. If you are just joining us, we are experimenting with milk paint over 20 days on all different surfaces to see what it does. Getting chippy with it. So this is a super shiny pressed wood surface. Nah, 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 nah. Yeah, right? This is the thing. It's the veneer, like Matt said at the beginning. Now, the back held on pretty good, but it's just, it seems like the top is really, really yeah, had it, its day, right? It's always the back end, isn't it? Ah. All right, let me go ahead and get that off. <laughs> Maria, right. Maria says, share, but I always share, even if you aren't giving stuff away. Oh, right? thank you. Well, Maria, she's one of our tribe members, man. Yeah, she's been there since the beginning. <laughs> Is that an industrial dryer? No, just a heat gun. Could you use a color beneath the milk? Absolutely. Let me get my extra bond. I'll be right there. Yeah. All right. Yeah. What's everybody saying? Oh, they're just saying, holy chippy. Yeah, right? Melissa Hart says, that doesn't look distressed. Trust the process, Melissa. <laughs> Trust the process. So, anyways. Who's going to clean up that mess? Matt. Not I. Matt's going to clean up the mess. That's why we, where, where's Kate at? Is Kate on here? She okay. Might... <laughs> so let's go ahead, because now we're going to go over it with another coat, right? 
So come over here. Yeah, if you if you rough it up a little bit, but we're doing a doing a uh, we're doing the extra bond. Yep. Uh, tutorial tonight. So. So let's say, going. for example, this happens to you, and you're like, oh my gosh, I want it chippy, but this gave me, depending on your surface, this gave me, <clears throat> excuse me, tons of chippiness. Here's what we're gonna do. Okay, we can stop the process right now. We're gonna dry it. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna go ahead and put more of my milk paint out in here because we're gonna go back over it again, right? And so I'm gonna go ahead and do three again. I think it was something like that I did last time. If that you paint well. the milk paint over chalk paint, will it still chip? Um, it can. Yeah, 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 absolutely. You would use like chippy hippie on that. You just never know where it would be because yeah. it would have obviously. Um, you know, chalky style paint is very porous, mm -hmm. so just remember that um, it would have a good grip on a chalky style right. paint, right? But if you really want it, like Matt was saying, to get some extra effects, then just uh, add some chippy hippie juice between mm -hmm. your layers. Did you want to show them what chippy hippie juice is? Yeah, so. Okay. So, anyways. Nancy Ellen says, love how Sonia is not scared to try anything. Heck no. people would lost their It's only paint, people. When the paint started falling off. Well, if she was scared to try anything, I wouldn't be around. <laughs> <laughs> True that, right? All right, so here we go with our extra bond. Okay, this is going to be a good example. Oh, look, we got our first one of the night. Oh, it's one of those? Elizabeth Vasquez. Is it one of those? We were just waiting for her to show up. Oh. We were waiting for oh. you, girl. All right, so you this. Don't, you just don't understand what you just walked into. <laughs> It'll stay in the back, so you can feel at ease, okay? If you ever forget this, okay? It says measure out two parts mixed paint with one part extra bond okay yeah. or if you're like me you just do woo, just like you're mixing your tea and you like a little extra uh, milk in your tea okay mm -hmm. I like an extra cow with my tea so I'm just gonna mix that up mix that into it I can add a little bit more I mean I know that this is pretty much really really shiny so I'm gonna add a, even a little bit more into it okay and see what this does all right so there we go let's go ahead and get it stirred up uh, Myra Jean are you talking about the milk paint or are you talking about the chalk paint the chalk paint does not chip. So, no. Uh, no, this is the... You would use this paint for two reasons. You would Melissa use it... Hart, are you the new Joanna and Chip Gaines? Well, well hello. Yes. It's funny, yes. you know, that's when HGTV started go. talking to us. Was, yeah, right. was right before they uh, went AWOL from Scripps Network. Yes, so. we're so glad you stumbled upon our... our uh, yeah. This is uh, Magnolia. So, um, that's a little bit closer... Um, that's a little bit closer than what you... Uh, yeah, I know you're joking, but... You might be surprised very soon. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we're going to go ahead and we're going to continue over here with our paint again, okay? Because what we're going to do is use our bond to get that right. to stick on, right? Uh, the bond is what we call extra bond. It's our own product. And uh, along the lines of the milk paint, a lot of people go, this. why do you use milk paint? Well, milk paint is all natural, organic. Um, it's all the stuff, you know, for people who have sensitivities and allergies and who new expecting mothers who still want to paint and yep. uh, you have pets and you or want to be all lovers. natural. Yeah. Or chippy lovers. So um, the extra bond mm -hmm. uh, turns milk paint, uh, makes it closer to chalk paint, but the extra bond itself is also all natural. Yeah. You know. So you can totally sand off all I those pieces. I feel like pieces. a vitamin commercial when I say that. Oh, What's natural. It? Try it today. It's good for you. <laughs> All right, so we're gonna go ahead and add that on. Of course, if you want, you can go over and get all the chippy pieces off, whatever you wanna do. I just kinda, of, what you've seen, just did a light sand, because I'm still going with that distressed <laughs> primitive look, right? Uh, yeah, Linda, 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 Linda says, oh, great, now you're ruining it, that great, gorgeous, chippy look. I know, right? <laughs> uh, <laughs> it was my first uh, try with milk paint, but no chippy. Well, Myra, um, what would you surface. suggest? That means your your piece, the surface is pretty porous, yeah, and it's sucked in. If you try a second coat, I say experiment in a small corner with the second coat and see what happens with it. Yep. And then we'll go from there. Yep. yep. And you know, I don't know. I mean, every brand is different. So I know that you haven't used our paint. So remember, we can speak to our paint because we know we build it, right? But yep. we can't speak to anybody else's. So. This so is what happens with ours. That's also giving you your texture on top as well. I'm liking that because yeah. I want it to be old and wretched like we yes. talked about, right? That's what I'm going for. All this you have to do is sand it down and stain it. Sand it down and stain it. Yeah, right? Yeah, but then we wouldn't be able to do the extra bond 
too torn. That's okay. Give us your address. We'll be over. We'll log it over. <laughs> it's and Canadian. We can totally do that. All right. I'm gonna go ahead and put this on. All over. Oh, I Trish is like checking that. in from J Town. What's J Town? Jonestown. Oh yeah. Okay. I got gotcha. you. So what is tonight? Tonight is what Tuesday. It, it is, is, yeah, right? yeah. I have to uh, think for a second. Yeah, Oak Island's on tonight. We gotta get home. Listen, Oak Island. Anybody else watch it? Anybody else watch Oak Island? Okay, that's my first question. Anybody else feel like they've been watching forever for something to really big happen? I think they're finding some really big stuff. But oh. You just it, it, for you. I'm an impatient if it, person. Okay? If it's not gold and silver and yeah, come you know, on, like bring I me. I mean, they're like, finding human remains. I want to. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I need like pirate stuff and like this show me some stuff. stuff. Yeah, but it takes forever. Okay, it takes forever, and then you gotta wait week to week for it to find out something, and like it's all cliffhangery. You know what I'm talking about? Like I just, it just, yeah, drives me a little nutty. Yeah, I mean that. Unfortunately, I'm gonna probably be at like the Laginas with me and Sean and those guys when I get to be about sixty. I'll be like geeky, like uh, you know. <laughs> uh, so what's everybody else saying? Do they love it? They're too? saying sanding. Yeah, you can sand. Uh, we don't sand in between clear coat and. Yeah, you can sand it off. You can sand it now off. Now remember that if I definitely wanted this to stick, I would have added my extra bond in my first coat of paint, right? Mm -hmm. So it's going to look textured right now because I'm just going with a lot of that chippiness that's left on there. See that? Uh, Dana Leffler Fountain. We're not going to talk about that. So you just need to be, you just need to be What are we talking about? about? Nothing. This is why I go back and read the comments when we're done because, you know, I'm like, what are you not telling me? Nothing. What are you not telling me? Nothing. Anything I need to know, right? Nothing, nothing. Thanks, Matt. <laughs> so I'm just curious on the whole thing of the whole Oak Island. What are they saying? They say Oak Island makes me nuts. Yes! <laughs> Wendy, Wendy says she's actually been to Oak Island in Nova Scotia. Well, I'm from Newfoundland, which is one province over. I've never been to Oak Island, obviously, but... We've gone past it. But, I don't know, man. Actually, we've gone right past it every time we drive, drive? drive home, yeah. All right, let me go ahead and put some in the back, too, here. Please explain milk paint to me. Milk paint is all natural. It's, let's, uh, let's poll the audience, okay? It's safe, let's poll the it's, audience. It's food grade safe, uh, what pet would you guys safe, say? baby safe, people safe. Um, you use it for chipping. So it's the, the original here. paint from back in the caveman and petroglyph yep. days. So there you go. If you didn't get to see my, uh, uh, this is laminate. Yeah, this is like a pressed, what do you call it? Pressed veneer, right? Pressed wood. When or when are we going to see Matt? When are you going to have to see me? <laughs> when or when? That sounds like yeah. a, yeah. Uh, Wendy's in, uh, Wendy, uh, Kulos Como is in, hey, Wendy. uh, Miramichi, New Brunswick. Oh, I remember I was in Miramichi, car. I remember I was in Miramichi and I went to, uh, the McDonald's. Yeah. I remember here. I had to order in French. Yes. And as soon as I tried to order in French, they, they realized that I wasn't from there. Right. So anyways. You're funny. <laughs> Good memories. Yeah. <laughs> So guys, this is what's going down now, okay? We're putting on our another layer of the paint. We've added the extra bond. I didn't dust off this right here. I kind of like the Linda idea of going with Linda it. Linda says antique laminate. Antique laminate. <laughs> yeah, this is a new, uh, this is a new style. You're so of, yeah. bad. Linda wants to get me in trouble with all the, all the wood painting haters out there, right? Yes. We all know that they, they just make life interesting, okay? They just make life interesting. Oh, that's good. Thank you, Kathy. What's Kathy saying? Now I can talk about it. She said this this is us is off this week. Yeah. Not back until the Olympics are done. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Because she's yes. watching that, right? Uh, yeah, they start talking about this is us. We're not going to talk about that. Listen, okay, I got a true story, okay? Yeah. I'm probably the only woman that doesn't know this, okay? Right. Come here, I need to have a conversation. Anybody else not know what the crock pot thing is, okay? There's memes all over the internet. I've been so busy painting, I haven't had a chance to catch up on season two, all right? So I have no idea what the crock pot, re pot reference is to the whole this is us. Does I anybody else not get it? I think Matt even gets it. You don't I even know. watch the show I know. and you I, get it. I think it's pretty self explanatory. What? Crock pot. Yeah. Okay, all right. Yeah. Okay. Time. It's definitely self explanatory. It is. How is it self Well, if everybody's upset at Crock-Pot, what do you think happened? happened? But what yeah. I'm trying to say is I don't know what happened. 
And um, anyway, I got to go get caught up on this, right? Like, I need to know what's going down. Oh, Julie Mills says she is from, she's from Norway. Yeah. What part of Norway? I, I wandered over in, uh, up in Hell, Norway uh, by Trondheim. Is it really called Hell, Norway? H-E-L, yeah, Hell. Really? Yeah, the uh, god, the goddess of the underworld in... Uh, kind of doing something funky here now, by the way, guys. Yeah. I've kind of... <laughs> This is part of being a creative, right? You kind of first start. Everybody and you know what? says, can't tell you. Spoiler alert. <sighs> so, you guys are such good friends. Uh, but anyway, true story, okay? This, this is my thought process. So you want to come around the front so I can tell them? Because this is where it's probably the best part to tell them. So yeah. you guys know I plan to do, and made fun of me, right, Matt, when I said dilapidated look. Yes. But anyway, it got really, really chippy. So then we add our extra bond. I didn't totally clean off all the chippiness. I just went with it. What's really cool now is not only my painting, I've decided to kind of pounce my brush a little bit and give it a little bit of texture because I kind of like that, right? Give yeah. it some meat and give it some texture. I've got the stressing and stuff to do, but do you see that? So I just want to give you guys permission and power to know that when you are painting, you can totally have fun with it. So I'm going to pounce a little bit more texture on here. Just because I can. What are you yeah. laughing at now? No, there, there's the people who didn't want to spoil it. Uh huh. And then we have the people like me that just went in there like wool and china shop. And told it off? Just told it off. <laughs> yeah. Be forewarned. So your mom and dad's on here. Hey, mom and dad. Yeah, yeah, but wait, they say hello from the Lucie, Newfoundland. Yes. Free stuff to Canada. Yes. No, why, why is your parents on here saying they need free stuff? Oh, to send stuff to yes. Canada. Mom, I'm gonna hook you up. You know I would. I'm just gonna pounce a little bit right here. If she says, love the color yellow, tell her what the name of it is. Mom, it's called Mustard Pickles. When was the last time you made Mustard Pickles? Or Nan made Mustard Pickles? I was trying to tell him, Mom. You tell him. Don't tell him your secret recipe. Save that for me. But tell him what, <laughs> in general, you put in Mustard Pickles when you make it. So anyway, I'm putting a little bit of pouncing on it because I'm gonna just go with the texture, okay? I got a little bit of that first layer of paint going on. I added my second layer with my extra bond and I kind of like this, guys. I love it. And so we're just gonna go with the flow and give it some extra look here, all right? Yeah. So I don't want it just to be textured in one place from the first layer of paint. Let's pounce and build it up a little bit. Yeah. So you can do that. So Christina uh, Davis, yeah. yeah, did you see the commercial after the Super Bowl where the guy was selling, the dad was selling uh, crock pots? <laughs> it was awesome. Now I'm scared. To watch anything. Melissa Hard says the dude's voice is hot. Well, yeah, I know. I, I, I I'm a hot guy. He tries. He tries. I'm hot. <laughs> <laughs> oh my lord. Uh, Wendy, uh, you'll be able to get the milk paint in Canada very soon. Uh, look for JumpMonkey.ca coming up. JumpMonkeyPaint.ca. Yes. Yep. It's a coming. This. Katie week. found a tra uh, trash line today. Oh, what'd you find, Katie? Paint. Yeah, Melissa, you know Tell why us. I sound like the guy from This Is Us? It's because we're from Pittsburgh. <laughs> That's right. It's supposed to be taking place in Pittsburgh, right? That's right. Yes. Yeah. Yes, there yes, yes. Go. Oh, my gosh. That's why it So instead sense. of dab, 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 it is slap, slap, slap. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes, it is, right? Because we're using a big old brush today to get it on. Your, but, your mother oh, said so going to make some soon. Uh, made from onions and cabbage, the main ingredient. Yes, I mean, it's the most amazing thing, and I like it when they're kind of sweet pickles. My grandma makes amazing ones, my mother makes amazing ones. What's wrong? What are you laughing at? Granny Price is the new paint color, hot matte. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we have the best. What awesome color people. would that be? What's that? We the, should rename it? The hot matte. The what hot color mat. would it be? Yeah. Are you talking about M A T T E or M A T T E? M A T T. Yeah. Too funny. Yeah, that's All right, funny. I kind of like that. I'm going to leave that there now. And i got to put my brush in some water. We're going to dry that so, up. And yeah, then we're so, going to antique it, guys. I think I should antique it. Yeah, see, uh, notice the texture. Yes, I'm going to go with it. I'm going to smooth it down with uh, some sand pack, but I kind of decided to go with this look because I could, right? I didn't want a smooth look. I'm going to go with a more of a textured look. Okay, yeah. bear with me. I know I probably, I'm painting like some crazy woman, but bear with me. We're going to make it, we're going to make it work, people. Uh, you know, you just kind of got to go with it. What? Yeah, right? Mm-hmm. I got to put my brush in water. Give me a second. Okay. 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 Okay.
in a week, and uh, we'll have them up on the page whenever yeah. they get here. They're awesome. They're awesome. They're yeah. a nice full brush. Yep. Yeah. And I have to say, it's like my favorite. You guys know I'm a shabby chip brush lover, um, but this is definitely won my heart over. So we're gonna go with this, right? All right, all right, all right. And if they get here before we have our um, our finale of our 20th day, maybe that will be one of our Adele prizes. Adele says, I cannot believe I'm watching this in Australia. What are you talking about, Adele? We have uh, Gaylene, our buddy hey, Gaylene Adele. is from New Zealand. Um, we actually have uh, one of our uh, workers here. It's been with us from the beginning. Yep. Luisa is from uh, Australia. She so, is. Yes. Yeah, she's now, here's the big question. Is this Adele as in Hellophobia? No, she's uh, she's English. No? Okay, different one? Yeah. Just making sure. Just making sure. We still love you, Adele. All right, I just had to check on that. Uh, just had to check on that. Yeah. All right, so notice that with the extra bond, I texturized it, right? Just with my brush. I'm going to go with that's, that. That's a new word. Texturized it. Texturized. I texturized it, guys. Listen, we've talked about things like speckles on here. We've talked about texturizing, right? You just never know what's going to happen. So, So Aaron wants to know, what yes. are you hoping for an end result? I am hoping for a very primitive, old, can I say wretched again? Yeah, old, old, distressed look. Okay, I'm going to antique it. I'm going to distress it. And I'm probably going to put a stencil on it. I'm going to put a stencil on it. Yep, absolutely. Now, the color I picked was called Mustard Pickles, which is a mustard color. Mm -hmm. And I think a lot of people that would have mustard color in their house would probably be primitive lovers, right? The, you know, the cranberry, the Liberty Blues, the dark navies, um, this kind of mustard yellows, the creams. So knowing what I know about people who love that look, I'm going to pick a stencil that would go with this sort of look, okay? Mm -hmm. And bring it all together. So we just had to, to take a moment to go ahead, but do you see how it stuck on with that extra bond? But I texturized it, right? That is a heat gun. Yes. Yep. Heat gun. They're about, what, 25 bucks at Walmart? Yeah. They heat up really, really high. So think about like how high your oven is when you cook things at like 425 and you, yeah. the heat comes out. This gets up at, to 1200 degrees. So it dries quick because it pulls the moisture out. How can you get an alert when you come on live? Okay, what you're going to do is you will go, when you get off of here, go right to our Facebook page. So right now you clicked on a post that came from our post from our Facebook page. Go to our Facebook page. At the top, there's a blue button that says uh, message. And then just type the word live to it, and you will be automatically subscribed. Right, so. yep. <laughs> By the way, guys, i got to tell you, we have a lot of you guys have found your way over to our YouTube channel. We recently put up a YouTube channel where it's basically a big old collection, a library of all kinds of furniture flipping pieces. Mm. And it has a search box where you can search all kinds of funness and different things that you need help with, like sealing and antiquing and glazing. Mm. Just, you know, if you want hours of fun of just watching paint, Maria flipping says furniture time. Maria says a pickle stencil. A pickle Yes, oh. right? How cute would that be? I'm Pickle Rick! That would be super cute. All right, so guys, I love this. But do you see what's happening now? Because I put the extra bond on, it's not chipping anymore, right? Now I'm going to do some distressing action to try to get it to chip a little bit more. <laughs> but I'm going to manually do that. Uh, Don't keep that all to yourself. Uh, Charlene says, the lady above said, hottie match should be a fire red. Ooh. Mm. You can have me in any color you'd like. It just has to be black. I'm going to start out <laughs> a uh, rent a mat. Um, side business? Yes. Yeah, there you go, right? There you go. He's paying me in chocolate. That'll work. So here we go. Look at all the chips. Uh, I wish I could understand what what you're saying there. I, I just, I'm not even sure what which one that is as far as language, but thank you very much for being on here. So this needs to dry over here. Blackbird stencil, yeah, yeah, yeah. Somebody said they want a bee stencil. It's oh, funny, yeah. we were looking for the bee stencil. I love, yeah. I have yeah. got an amazing bee stencil that I got from my friends over at Maison, the stencils. House of stencils. And they have some awesome ones. And I've got one that I love. It's like one of my classic ones. And those of you who follow me always recognize it. And a lot of you have went and got it as well. Um, it's a bee one. It's so awesome. I'm going to try to get it out for tomorrow night, maybe. Yeah, so this is really bonded on here. But you can see it left all this, like, old school, like, layers and layers of paint kind of yeah. up here. Yeah. I mean, you could have took that off if you wanted to, but I think yeah. you're going to add something to the piece because 
It's gonna go with my shabby look, right? So yeah. I'm not worried about it. Cool, 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 cool. Yeah. This is the kind of stuff that you would go like and buy like the niche and plaster. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? To get these looks. Kelly Lang says, is it as exciting as watching paint dry? Exactly, right, Kelly? Well, if you think that's that, you need to you need to come in and fill in for me for uh, a couple weeks. You know what? How fun would that be? We should have auditions for who wants to come and be the uh, be the play by play. The camera. Heck, the camera you know what? We should find a painter. Camera. And I mean, you can just sit back and we can be like. Yeah. Yeah, who wants to paint and who wants to be who wants to be can, me and who wants to be sit mad, in the right? back and we can I can sit there and point and go, you missed this lot. <laughs> there you go. Woblo. Right. Kelly, where enough. is Woblo at? I don't know. Never heard of it. I know. Never heard of it. Alright, so there's parts of it that's still a little bit tacky. That's okay. You guys, have you ever heard of what's called a wet distress? That is where, even before your paint dries, you do some distressing too, okay? Yeah, Just to let you yeah, know. Yeah, yeah. Sorry. So you can do that and use that as part of an effect if you want. I don't care if my sand block swipes over some spots that might not yet be totally dry, because in my mind, again, say it with me, we're going distressed. Okay, what about boho flowers? Oh, that would be so pretty too, right? So now, this is when we do some distressing. Now. You can see, right? But I've got to literally like push on it to get it going. So these were some of the wet spots. I love how that turned out. Let's keep going. So we gotta work in the chippiness this time because we use the extra bond. Uh, Nancy, that that's a great idea, but I don't think What's I that? made it completely clear when we started this little adventure many years this ago. This little adventure. Like I don't think. Funny. Does Chuck Monkey work on particle board? Uh, this is actually the reason. Yeah, you might even want to do. Like, I added extra bond to the milk paint to make this stick on. Yeah, that extra bond but is like. You can just go get our regular, um, you know, our really regular Chunky Monkey, <laughs> our original recipe. It's the, mu it's the monkey brand of paint with the muscles. Chuck Monkey okay? original. Yeah. It's pickle. This is Petunia. Petunia is oh. unpredictable. Thank you, Maggie. Maggie Molina checking in from Florida. Oh, hey, Florida. I think I should get a little bit of distress in so through the Linda center. Linda says, I can't just see you sitting still. Tell me about it. What? You talking about me? Teresa said, I'd rather have you cook. There you go. <laughs> he does cook well. Guys, seriously, cook do you well? like it? Cook well. Look at amazing. Look at amazing. Oh. Award winning. Hey, Tony, Tony. Guys, do you like that? Yeah. Do you like how I left that? Your pink, pink creator, she's the pink creator. That's about it. I'm going to put a little more darkness right here. Yes, we are going to seal. Yes. What grid is your sand block? This is probably, I'm trying to think which one to pick, but this is about a 60 to 80 grit. Yeah, medium, medium, medium. You can get these same ones on our our website at jugmonkeypaint.com. Debbie Slate, checking in from the sip. What part down south? Hey, EA is on here. All right, I love that, right? Yeah. Dang, it looks like the map of the world. Look at it. Seriously, this is like the map of the world. This right here is like South America. Do you see it? <laughs> it's like South America. I'm serious, right there. I don't know what geography class right you took. So Newfoundland would be like up here somewhere, right? Oh, okay, all right. Right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. All right. Tony says, hey, Maddie, Maddie. Okay, anytime Tony comes on, this is Tony when she comes on. She's going to get the... The fawn. Yay. No. No? Hey. Okay. All right. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I love this. All right. What do you guys think with that? Right? So when you distress pieces, think Let about me, the uh, parts uh, that uh, would uh, actually... Sorry, it's my hair in the way. <laughs> There's a lot of it. Um, so when you distress pieces, and I mean, guys, I got to work at this, right? Like, if you can probably hear me, like, ah! but um, because with that extra bond, it really bonded. Um, but think about when you're distressing, like where the natural distressing would actually happen. So it's a lot of times it happens around raised edges and things like that, right? I'm going to put a little bit in there. All right. Send me hearts of you, too. Yeah. Love shabby chippy. Tony, distress. why the angry faces? Because they weren't love, Tony. I don't mm -hmm. know who hurt nurturing? them, but somebody hurt them. Aww. Who hurt you guys? <laughs> who? It's sad. Yeah. I feel bad for them. Let's somebody, give them some love, guys. Send them some hearts. Make somebody, them feel better. Somebody, somebody hurt their inner child. Oh. Yeah. That's okay. 
They, they said that bond stuff really works. Yeah, yeah it tanks yeah. straight yeah. does. Heck yeah. Ooh. So anyway. What did I miss while you ate? Just troll a little Just what? The trolls. Oh, that's what I was going to say. Come, come to trolls. Stay for the... Yeah, yeah come to... Uh, Come to uh, Troll the Furniture. Stay for the awesome ideas, guys. Yes, absolutely. We'd love to have you if you can hang. Will you be trying milk panel and fabric? Sure, why not? Heck, why not? This is a 20 day experiment. Yes. Of milk paint on all kinds of surfaces so we can experiment and see what it does because it is considered the unpredictable paint. Okay. So hey, we're really we're checking in from Ludington, Michigan. So, hey. It's a soup night, Matt. Chicken and egg noodles. Lots of deal. You know it. I'm a soup guy. Soup. Soup. The soup Nazi. Yes. Who knows the soup Nazi on uh, Seinfeld? Yeah. I make him look, look like a teddy bear. <laughs> oh, my goodness. All right. All right. What do you guys think? All right. Let me get a sip of some hydration here. You guys tell me what you think. All right. Think about where we hey, started. Hey, Sasha checking in. <coughs> Excuse me. Is it looking all right? <laughs> Julie says, Sonia, you need oxygen. You're working too hard. Yeah, right. Mm -hmm. Okay. Let's see. Right. Let me get my stuff ready over here. Do you want another shout out for Tulare, California? For some sharing? Debbie, where is Tulare, California? <coughs> I, I was out there quite a bit. I'm not familiar with Tulare. Ooh, Linda's making a puzzle. Making what? Dinner, What's that? It's yumminess. The big blackbird would look amazing. Okay, you know what? I can oh, your Aunt Julie's on. Everybody say hi to Aunt Julie. Aunt Julie, back from Newfoundland. One of my coolest aunts ever. Shout out to Aunt Julie. Yep. All right, so I'm going to use some of our, I think our um, chalky style paint for this. So I'm going to put a little bit out. What are, you, what are you doing? Wait, 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 I'm sorry. Are you, are you looking? I'm over here. I'm like. Are you staring I'm, at the mustard yes. pickles? What are you doing over there, right? Yes. Okay. So here's what we're going to do now. Let's go ahead and add a stencil. Somebody said blackboard. I got a blackboard, and I totally agree with you, okay? Let me go ahead and get my blackboard because the whole reason why I agree with you with the blackboard is because mm -hmm. think about the type of the house it's going to go, right? The type of decor that it's going to go into and be part of. So. How about this one right here? Can you guys imagine it? Right here, maybe on the corner. Yeah? Okay, let's see how long it takes for the OCD. Okay, Linda. Choo, choo, choo. How do you pronounce like Tulare? That. Because that's why the way it looks like it's spelled. Tulare? Yeah, that's in Tulare, California. Okay. Never been to California. I would very much like to go. Edward's checking in from Kokomo. Get the guest Indiana. room ready for us, Linda. Yes. We'll be over. All right, Bakersfield. So, well, I know where Bakersfield is. I used to drive through Bakersfield all the time. I think there's a song about the streets of Bakersfield. There it is. All right. Okay, guys. So here's the deal. Quick tip for you, okay? So I'm going to go ahead and put my stencil on here. Some of you guys might be like, why aren't you putting it in the middle? Because I'm going to put it over here because I'm going to leave a spot for decorations. Maybe a lamp. Whatever, right? So that's why I like to put mine off-centered. Oh. But it's still balanced in the way that it sits. Tulare. I have heard of that. You know where it's going? If it's pronounced Tillery, yeah. Tillery. There you go. It's San Joaquin Valley. Yep, 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 yep. Cool. Do you want to look at the world map and find it? No, Just making sure. Okay. Okay. okay, so here we go. We got the bird down, right? We're going to have the black silhouette of the bird down here. So I've done my piece to look distressed. So it's not going to look really cool if I put a brand new black bird over here looking all shiny and fancy and new against a distressed piece. So this is where I pull out my shabby chip brush and I give it a distressed effect, okay? Because I want it to blend. I want it to be balanced. And I want it to look like it's supposed to be part of the actual piece. So this is the all my dab, dab, dab friends, right? This is yeah. pretty much where you have to go, right? You just kind of do a little dab, dab, dab action here with your shabby chip brush. Yeah. Trying Lauren not Miller's to fill in totally in everything. From, Laura Miller's checking in from Exeter, Exeter, California. So Exeter, I've been to Exeter, California. I've been to Exeter, uh, England and Exeter, California. Uh, Debbie Sandy says, there. to Larry. To what? To Larry. That's the name Tulare. of the place? Yeah. Gotcha. Yeah. So, anyways. Um, yes, Exeter, California looks nothing like Exeter, England. It's not as scary. So. <laughs> they make stencil <laughs> adhesive, <laughs> just to let you know. I'm using my fingers right <laughs> now. <laughs> but just know, 
<clears throat> that you can get stencil adhesive that you spray in the back of your stencils and it makes them stickable. Stickable to your walls, stickable to your furniture, and it doesn't peel off your paint job, okay? So I'm just gonna wing it with my furniture because that's what I do. I just wing it, right? We can always make it look perfect after. Now when I paint the bigger body of the bird, I wanna bring my brush down. The cool thing with the shabby chip brush, and these are available on our website, junkmonkeypaint.com. Did you raise the stencil application and do it lightly go over the birds with milk paint? This is milk paint we're doing it in? This, no, you, you weren't paying attention. This is our Chucky Stop paint. Oh, okay. I went and got it, yep. Oh, See, while oh you were talking there, that's that's what I was doing. So, well, it's all good. slap me and call me Cindy. All right, boom. Come on, Cindy. All right. Work with me here. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and keep working this over. Sharon's Pull your Scotland. brush down in the same direction as you're going, okay? Yes. But you don't have to get all OCD. We're going for distressed and faded, right? We're not going for perfect. All right, let me see here. Let's keep going. I'll show you how to fix up your stencil in just a little bit if you make a mess. That tells me you made a mess. That tells me I made a mess. I'm hoping I didn't. But thanks for your faith. All right, let's see here. All right. Oh, Sherry's on. Sherry's on. Hey, Sherry. Sherry, you're taking a break from painting tonight, girl. All right. So you can watch more painting, right? That's it. When you got the addiction, you got the addiction. Yeah, that's, that's bad. It's good stuff. No, it's a wonderful feeling. You're just because like, what can I paint gets next? Drug into this vicious cycle. Oh, come on. You love me. Not right. Come on. Not come on. the. Uh, Think about not, how many awesome either. friends I introduced you to on here. <laughs> Think about all the awesome people that are on here with us. <laughs> See? Yeah, yeah. Now you're feeling pretty awesome, aren't you? See? I just had to remind you. All right, you ready? Pull that it off. is chalky style. Oh, All right, let's pull it off. Up. And oh. boom! Are you guys there using she goes. kids' paint? Using what? Kids' paint. Kids' paint. Well, I guess kids could use it if they want you, to. You you got here late, didn't you, Luke? <laughs> it could definitely be um, the kids' paint if you wanted it to be. Our milk paint is all natural. And it does bring all boys to the yard, so I just want you to know that. Oh, uh, we had to go there. We had to go there. We I'm had sorry, to go somebody there. said that last night and it just made me laugh so much. Oh, what happened? You oh, happened. You're unplugged. It's okay. You tried to unplugged. silence me. You can't silence me. All right, there we go. All right, so what do you think? Was this a good choice? Give me hearts if you love it. So I didn't go um, all perfect with the Blackbird because why would I go perfect on this if this is all distressed, right? So it just would be offset. So I want to go ahead and do this. And I'll show you one more thing I'm going to do to really just kind of make it blend in. But guys, if anything, when you're painting, there is no right way to do it. There's no wrong way to do it. So you know what? If you just get a super chippy effect, just go with it. Add some extra bond. Add some texture. Sand it out. Give some distressing. Give some other areas for the eye to look at and make it interesting. Now this piece, the one thing it was missing was the knob. What color knob, or what kind of knob would you get for the front if you were me? We're going to go to Hobby Lobby tomorrow and find a knob. Sorry, Luke, my Google finger's broke. <laughs> what kind of knob do you think I should put on there? What kind of knob? All right, let's see here. So here's a quick tip as well. Let me go ahead and grit, get a grit that I haven't used so much. So one of the things I do is I use a shabby chip brush to get the distressed effect, but then I also take a sand pad and I can swipe over it and it'll really fade it out. And if I want to even fade it out more, I take my sand pad and I put it on the side, okay? Guys, I'd love it if you would share this video to help somebody else who's trying to just get better at painting or somebody who has a house that they want to, you know, make beautiful for themselves and just know that they can do it with a coat of paint or tag somebody. That would just be so awesome. It allows us to continue what, doing what we're doing. So what I'm doing is taking my sand block, putting it on the side, and then I can kind of like, you know, try to wipe out some of those sections in the bird, right? Right there. We don't want to make it look perfect. Okay, you know? cruelty. <laughs> Thanks. Thanks, Matt. Yeah. Giving people ideas now. Yeah, yeah. Bad enough on painting furniture, but now I'm being cruel to animals. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. my God. That's why I rescued dogs on the way home to make up for that. All right, you see that? I have a little bit of distressing right there. I can put anywhere where I want to. Just a little bit, right? Because I don't want this section to look perfect. And then I've got all these distress marks over there. So I'm okay with bringing a little bit of it over, all right? So, guys, do you think we should do a little antiquing and a little bit of feeling? What do you think? Yeah. All right, let's do it. I say we do it. I say we do it. Uh, somebody asked how you make milk paint. 
With milk, silly. <laughs> Ancient right. Chinese secret. Our milk thing is pretty awesome. Yes. Just like they make it um, back in the old days. It's actually made with milk solids mm -hmm. and it's made with um, clay mm -hmm. and with earth pigments. And so it's completely all natural. Can I use milk paint on the walls? Yes, you can. Yep. It's, it's a more you expensive. Really want to. It's a more expensive uh, way to do it, but if you're looking for all natural and healthy, that's the way you go. A lot of people do it. Uh, but you just never know the effect you're going to get, right? Yeah. Yeah. So it's not like a standard paint. wall covering, yeah. right? It's it's more of a specialty paint. But if you like old and just chippy, and you like that old distress, it could be really cool, right? Oh, oh, oh my God! Oh my God! I'm on here! Oh my God! All right, so you guys ready? So we've got our, our table down. We're going to be ready to go, okay? So I've got my wax Everybody brush. Just saw me. Oh, well, then now you're no longer a man of mystery. Me with my face pointed down and like... Well, seriously. <laughs> now look what happened, all right? Should have paid attention. All right, so I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to put the wax all over the top, guys. So I've got the wax brush on my website if anybody wants to get the same one that I'm using. But what you do with wax is you just basically buff it with your brush, okay? Do you see how it's uh, really matted out here? It's really darker over here. Yeah. So it's really going to revive my color again. Because remember that mustard pickles color that we saw at the beginning? So I'm going to keep working my way around. No, there's no smell to this wax. No, nope, it's wait, all wait. natural. So, Hello, people. Over the top. How are you? So, hey, come on. Stop. I'm, I'm talking to my friends. They're finally seeing me for the first time. You're ever. revealing yourself. All yes. Right, Hi. All right. So, okay, well, go. I'm going to go get a rag real fast. So, anyways, All right. here I am. All right. All right. So, everybody's wondering. There it is. All right, there it is. Well, yeah, you look terrified when you can't find that. Yeah, <laughs> Teresa says handsome. Yeah, like the backside of a bull. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so now what I'm going to do is take a cloth, okay? These cloths are also on our website. They are an actual, um, a, an actual like, what should, what should I say? They're a trademark branded towel called Better Than Cheese Cloth. Yeah. And they're made specially for furniture painters so that when you do use wax, you're able to buff it back off, okay? Do you always wax before you're antiquing? Um, yes. You know what? I like to lay down the base. I'm going to show you how to antique tonight with you, when you're using the clear wax. If you weren't on last night, you're going to see me do the same thing tonight. But last night, we did a brown antique on this piece. Can you show them again real fast? So, right over here, Matt. Matthew, I'm right sorry. over here. Okay, all right. So, that's a brown antique on it. And now, on this one, we're going to go ahead and we're going to do a um, blacky antique. Because I'm going to match it up to the blackbird that's on the piece, right? right. So, there we go. All right. So what it does is your wax is great if you're trying to avoid brush marks and it actually goes right down into the pores of your wood, okay? Right. Poly goes down, but it also sits on top. So a lot of you guys that wrestle with brush marks, you're gonna love wax. Um, so for the person that asks about, you know, are you gonna wax before you antique? Because I'm waxing this piece tonight, I'm going to, um, I'm going to antique with a black wax on top of the clear wax. Make sense? Linda. Uh, Linda's checking in from downtown and out. All right, hey Linda. All right, let's go ahead and buff this out. All right, let's see here. So we would continue to work around. Do you wax the chalk paint too? Piece. Yes, we wax the chalk paint. We also like polyacrylic, water-based polyacrylic. All right, so here we Can go. Can you use a cop uh, cotton diaper to wipe the wax off? A cotton diaper yeah, to I wipe have, the wax off? Yeah, like cotton diaper. Um. Nice. I get, but you could try it. Yeah. The thing is that you'd want a piece of fabric that's not too smooth that it doesn't remove the wax, right? So you're going to need something that's going to not leave lint, not going to leave a dye from it, yeah. um, and it's going to sit on really, really nice. Yeah. What are you laughing at? Katie Reed said you look like the Blair Witch Project. You scared yourself. Said all you needed was your <laughs> nose, was your nose dripping. <laughs> uh, too funny. So oh, Nancy yeah. said, oh, Matt's in trouble. Sonia said, Matthew. Matthew. <laughs> Show him the piece, Matthew. Anyways, um, can you use wax on your chart? Yeah, yeah. Um, how often do you re-wax? Yeah, it's totally up to you, yeah. but if you want to keep your piece looking sharp and hydrated, just think about, like, I always use the, the, um, the illustration of, like, when you have brown antique pieces that are around your house, um, and then sometimes you go out and you get some old English and you just kind of revive them to bring them back. You can do the same thing with your painted furniture. So mm -hmm. if you 
have your wax and you maybe you want to give them a shine once a year, go for it, right? So, just bring them back to life. So, it really it rehydrates the piece. Yeah. So Nikki got it. She said it's the Matt Show, a special guest song. There okay. you go. So, so Patty wants to know if you do that on a chair, will it rub off? What, the, the wax or I the paint? I think just all together, yeah. You do that on a if chair? If you no, do it on no, a no, chair, no. I would say poly it because that's where your butt is. Yeah, anything that's really, really... Um, gets utility use, you're going to want to think about doing a poly. Yeah. Now, this is, right, this is my fingernails. Come over here, guys. Okay, this is my fingernails. Okay, so, I mean, I, hopefully nobody would, if you have friends that do that to your furniture, they don't need to be your friends anymore. No. But, um, you no. know, we can always buff it out, too, with a little bit more wax. But it's pretty darn strong. Yeah. But if you ever felt furniture that feels weird to the touch, it's because somebody waxed on, but they didn't wax, wax off, off, okay? Yeah. So you wax it on, and then you wax it off using a cloth that's going to gather up any of the excess of the wax that sits on the top, okay? So our wax is a soft one. It's completely all natural, and it doesn't have any solvents in it, okay? So um, somebody asked, can you do this with unpainted furniture? Absolutely. Yeah, Paint. yeah, yeah. I mean, I mean uh, wax, wood? yeah. So Jessica oh, yeah. wants to know if I'm for sale. Yes. It depends on what day of the week you, if you want yes. to ask me. <laughs> Yeah, that's exactly right. Tomorrow um, is Valentine's, so I think I'm going to keep them for tomorrow. Yeah. You guys um, think? Can you use wax on unpainted antique furniture? Right. Yeah, because actually, if you get into the real old antique furniture, it was probably wax to begin with. And when you ple when you use pledge and stuff like that, you're using a very low-grade wax, which is why you have to do it all the time. Okay, but so this, this is, is our monkey our shine right yeah, here. This is our wax right here. I'm going to put a little bit out into my plate here. But what I'm going to do is add a little bit of a color we have called black soot, okay? Yeah. And it's black, right? It's like yeah. chimney soot that would be be from the chimney. Yeah. So let me go ahead and take a little bit out. And honestly, you can just kind of do this as well. This is does you don't have to be OCD about this either. Just take a little <laughs> bit out. <laughs> Jessica said, "What day works best to buy him?" Okay. Uh, just send uh, me a message. Yeah, send her a message and wait five minutes. There you go. <laughs> I'll do, I'll do something to make her mad. I can't promise you won't want to return him, okay? I'm just saying. I'm just joking. All right, so let's go ahead and since, mix it up, right? Since tomorrow's Valentine's Day, are you going to paint something red? Maybe we should, right? Do you yeah. guys want me to do something in honor of Valentine's Day tomorrow? We'll get all chippy with it and valentines -y with it tomorrow. Listen, listen. Uh, since, you know, I, I should probably give him one of my life lessons. What's that? About Valentine's Day. Okay, let me hear it. For, okay, can... I, let me just give a disclaimer. Let me just give a disclaimer. I have no idea what he's going to say, okay? And bear in mind that he's a Marine. <laughs> All right, so just, I don't know. All right, go ahead, continue. So, anyways, um, my advice, my first advice for this oh God. next couple days of Valentine's Day is, yes. is if you're single, yes. just remember, so is 90% of your socks, but you, okay. don't, but you don't hear them crying. This is true, right? Yes. This is true. Okay, yeah, okay, yeah. okay. Okay, okay. Give him hearts if that was a good life uh, coach uh, lesson. <laughs> so, guys, remember how we're doing 20 nights of 20 colors of our new milk paint line. Remember, when you have the clear wax, which is also available on our website, you can pick any one of the colors to make your wax that color so you don't have to go and buy a million and one colors all right i'm using black because i've got the black bird going down here and i've got all these when i look down here do you see it i've got all these spaces that will be perfect to be antique so let's go ahead when you think about antiquing you want to put the put it in the places where you would imagine like dirt would fall yep. and so let's go ahead and start putting it on and the cool thing is it doesn't set up quick so you have plenty of time to put it on, all right? Yeah. So this was milk paint powder mixed with wax. You're correct. So can I use wax and antiquing on chalk paint also? Yeah, you sure yeah, can. Absolutely. Yep, absolutely. This will work on our chalky style paint or even on the milk paint, okay? Yeah. So I put it on, I wipe it in. So when I wax furniture, I buff, you know, I wax on, we wax off, and then I like to let it sit for at least 24 hours before it goes home with a customer, okay? Because um, I want that to be able to set up really, really nice and continue so to work. So Nikki wants to know. Yeah. What's the plan for Valentine's to, tomorrow? I don't know. What do you think we should do? I don't know. We're gonna be here. What do you think we should do if we're gonna be hanging out on Valentine's Day tomorrow? Yeah, we're gonna be here. <laughs> Give us ideas. <laughs> we'll take you to the steakhouse with us, okay? Yeah. While we're eating steak, yeah. and we'll prop you up on the table, 
and we can just you know yeah, we'll have a steak. dinner we'll have a dinner together <laughs> And we yeah. can have, um, yeah. oh man, Texas our, Steakhouse our, has our best life, honey yeah. rolls. Our life is reduced to on special occasions, either Hawkbrow House or Texas Steakhouse and uh, jewelry and alcohol. So See, I just think those are all wonderful things. Yeah. Adele Adele says, if I'm wrong, I don't want to be right, people. All yeah. right. Adele says, I hope you stay together as long as my husband and me, 50 years. Oh! That's a long time. Dang, somebody give that we're, woman a... We're right in the 20-year Somebody give that house. woman a... Yeah. Uh, she uh, needs a gold medal. Yes, she does, right? <laughs> Teresa <laughs> says, get a heart-shaped pizza from Papa John's. Oh! Now, I'll tell you what. That that definitely speaks to me. What's that? The heart-shaped pizza? Yeah. Because... Yeah. Okay. They want it layered, pink and red. What? Oh, the, a table tomorrow. I talk, Tess, I talk about pizza here. Tess says a box of toffee from up the road. Scamps toffee? That stuff is ridiculous. It is good. I have it? to watch myself because I'll eat that stuff. Yeah. And it's like, can, oh yeah, my it's, gosh. Yeah, it's before you know it. Yeah. Before you know it. All right. So what do you guys, can you see a little bit of the black antique and what it does? It just adds a little more drama to the piece. Well, if you go up on top. To make it interesting. To see from, from okay. How about, uh, let me see, I'll put a little antique in around the edges and maybe kind of like blur it out a little bit, okay? So let's go ahead, we'll put it on The color here. is called mustard pulse. So guys, give me some ideas. What do you think we should do tomorrow for Valentine's Day? I'm serious. What do you think we should do? Nancy says... We're going to be hanging out. Petunia the monkey would like to something in pretty pink. Pretty pink? We could do that. So how about I show you how to make them? mix colors. How about, yeah, exactly. How about we mix colors? Okay. So Jessica says she is married going on two years. Congratulations. Yeah, you, you made it through, uh, through the top. Yeah, the right? Top it's part. always the first. Yeah, you're getting yeah. used to like living with somebody, man. It's very different, right? It gets easier, though, I think. Make a sign tomorrow to incorporate love. To love? Ooh. I like it. Okay, let me get some on the back here. So, anyway, I'm going to go ahead and wipe this around. Do you want to do one more share? Yeah, let's do one more round of share. And then we'll do For tonight's mystery prize. All right. Let's do it. Yes. Let's do it. Ray says take the day off. That ain't happening. You know what? We'd love to you. take a day off. <laughs> Can I tell you that I really enjoy painting furniture and I love hanging out with you guys. Like, I'm being honest here. So, to me, this is, does not feel like working. This just feels like hanging out with friends, mm -hmm. chit-chatting, and uh, seeing what's going down. So, this is not going to feel like work to me tomorrow. So we'll do something in pink, pretty in pink, right? Do you want to come over here on this side here as I add a little bit? You might be able to see it a little bit better. This is cool too. It has all these indentations. This would be a great place to go ahead and put some wax. Um, or we also do the antique glaze, which you can also put um, on here as well. It's like a pre-mixed um, water-based glaze that you can use, but this is a wax. So if you're somebody who's choosing to seal with wax, Go with something like this to be able to give some darkening and some distressing and just, you know, to make it look a little bit more old and dilapidated. I love that. My rule of thumb when I paint furniture is when I get it to a place that I go, I love that, or I would have that um, in my space, then I know that it's reached the point where, you know, I'm proud to put it on my store floor. So, yeah, if you're ever watching and you hear me go, oh, my God, I love that. That's usually myself going, okay, I'm happy with this concoction that we've come up with. Usually when she says that, I try to hide. You try to hide? Yes. Because what? It might because mean... that means I got to load it up and take it somewhere. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay, true story. No, I'm not going to tell you guys because you're all going to show up at my same Goodwill. And then you're going to want the piece that I want too, okay? But let me just say that tomorrow on Valentine's Day... The local thrift stores around here are having 50% off, okay? <laughs> <laughs> what does a girl, a furniture painter, want of, on Valentine's Day? Of, uh, jewelry this year. Let's just say, a, uh, a girl that likes to paint old furniture and loves to pick and haul and treasure hunt, yeah, 50% off, okay? So, that is Natalie. I don't know if I should go pitch a tent tonight. I just saw, Angelie, I just saw, it says, can anyone see my comments? I can. Hey! I don't remember seeing your comments before. Oh, please yeah. ask about white. What, 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 what about would you like white? to know? Yep, yeah. let us know about white. We also, do you want to show them the colors real fast? Sure. Over there, we do have a snow white. Can you use paint on with the furniture? Absolutely. Uh, white, we have an iceberg white. And we have one called thick cream. It's kind of like an antique lace. Make dress, Matt, dress up like Cupid. Well, 
It's a good thing I already got my diaper on. Anyways, this is foggy gray. It's like a light, light gray. And then this is tea biscuit. It's kind of, kind of like a tan white. Okay? So, anyways. Alright. There we go. Let's give a winner. Okay. Oh, winner I gotta pick. I gotta pick. Alright, I gotta pick finish off Alright, let's tour. pick a winner. Let me get over here real fast. And I'm scrolling, scrolling. Okay, let's do this drawer yeah. together real fast. Why this will be the last part. The drawer? Well, you're picking a winner. You can just point it down here. Oh, okay. You're going down okay. there. Okay. Alright. Ow, oh, that hurt. And love, the winner. Love, love, love. Tonight. Yes. Yes. Tell me more. I lost it. Tell Patty Price. More. Patty Price, you're the winner. Patty Price. Patty Let's Price. see if Patty's here. Patty Price, if you're here. Guys, I <laughs> love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. You heard me say it, right? Um, Linda Arnold says, Matt is a saint of a guy. You have no idea. <laughs> puts out with me. He puts it with me. All right, yes. so guys, how fun is this, right? These are the two colors that we've done the last two days. Mustard pickle, pickles, and this was a half-half of the um, Irish eyes and mossy rock, because remember, and you can combine was, colors as well. That was all over the place. Yeah, I'm that one's got all kinds of stencils on it. Yep. Um, so anyway, let me try to get this out of the way. But these are really, really fun, Is the cream right? kind of yellow or more cream? It's more cream. If you're familiar with our antique lace, it's along that one. Very, so. very. Patty Price, there you are. All Yay. you have to do... Is email us at junkmonkeypaint at yep. gmail.com. You got it. Yes. So, like, I'm picturing these sorts of um, decor pieces with things like the colors. Who loves color, of course? Um, I'm not somebody who tends to go towards, like, if I have creams in my house, I need to have pops of color as well, right? Mm -hmm. But anyway, like, think about who also loves the cotton stems to be able to go ahead and create their own wreaths. I mean, you could put a cotton stem wreath on here if you really wanted to. These sorts of colors go really, really nice with a rustic flare. And um, talk about love. love. You know, you can make fun signs, too, and put on pieces love. and bring it all together. I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. Wow. All right. And Sweet. with that. Wow. <laughs> the princess bride yes it is. Phew. all right okay my friends thanks for hanging out with us for another night it was day five with the painted piece of furniture a day challenge using a brand new line of milkshake milk paint all natural just have fun with it we got really got chippy with it tonight right and then we brought it all back home to be able to create this beautiful piece so hopefully you've been inspired tell me if you've been inspired because it just makes me happy it makes us all happy okay. um and then tomorrow night we'll see you back on here right be here be square be here be yeah oh jeez Listen, we're gonna have to like you, yeah. we're gonna have to get a whole new camera operator. Yep. I will see you guys later. Yeah, and now that I've seen my shadow, yeah, it's back. It's like the groundhog. To, yeah, it's back to my burrow. Okay, see ya. See you guys. <laughs> Bye. <laughs>